Welcome to another installment of Unfiltered with Oscar Somi. Today we have another guest and it's going to be an exciting one. It's definitely episode 10 of Unfiltered with Oscar Somi and obviously as we always do, we sometimes have guests coming over to our studios and at times we actually do visit guests at their homes and uh, even at places where they would love for us to meet them. This time we're at uh, the Moroga household with a very beautiful soulful singer that is Mr. Neo Moroga and uh, he's our guest for today. Mr. Moroga, how are you doing today? I'm all right, sir. Hello, everyone. I'm good. Thank you so much, man. And thank you so much for welcoming us into your lovely home. It's a beautiful home and uh, we're nice sitting with the kids and uh, it's actually going to be a lovely one. Thank you so much for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. The reason that Unfiltered is so interested in having this session with you today is because uh, you're obviously a person who's uh, uh, known out there and uh, people have always enjoyed the music that you've been making. And uh, we've seen your name come up in some uh, of uh, the big shows that are on TV even. So uh, I think we'll talk about you are at that point where they would love to understand who Uneo is and maybe get to understand the personal side of him, just the music side that is already out there. But there obviously there's another side which is personal that I want us to get into in a moment. Obviously, you're going to guide us through this. But uh, in your own words, just to explain to us, who is Um Nomzanu Umoroga, Mr. Neo? Well, yeah, um, thanks, uh, Sandy, then definitely welcome. Um, yeah. Uneo is, is, is a lot of things. Mm. You know, I used to love using the word enigma when I was young. Yes. I wanted to see myself as that, but, mm. but I'm far from that. I'm, I'm very, you know, clear. What you see is what you get. I'm a right. man who is spiritual. Mm -hmm. I'm a man who comes from a praying background. Right. I'm a man who loves family. Mm -hmm. I'm a man who loves... Um, I'm a man who's passionate. That's right. Um, and uh, I love to see good things happen in the world to good people. Exactly. And you've uh, always done that. You've always been a loving person yes. who's, um, speaks, uh, who obviously speaks love even through the music that you produce. Oh, yeah. But um, obviously, just taking it a bit back, going back to Uneo being a person who grew up in a certain place, obviously, and how did that play a part in? Influencing the person that you'd end up being. Uno Vanosas Complas. Right. And that is a Clement. Mm. And it definitely uh, shapes you over a Clement. That's mean, right. I'm sure everybody says that about uh, where they come from. Of course. But, but it shapes you over a Clement, especially because it prepares you for any walk of life. Yeah. A Clement, Kona Yonkin Trobo Yomon, to any type of person. Yes. And we are free about expression. Right. You know, it's it's. It's one of those townships where everything comes first. Mm. Um, you, you see it first. You see acceptance come first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More than many other um, locations. Or yes. It's very embracing. Yeah. Um, many different cultures. Many different backgrounds. Yeah. Um, there's rich people in Clermont. There's mm -hmm. poor people in Clermont. Yeah. There's educated people in Clermont. Yeah. And... That kind of prepares you to, you know, it makes you fit in. Yeah. Um, young Kindao, because you grow up around so, so many, many different exactly. um, experiences. Yeah. So like, that obviously plays a part in who you also become as you grow. Of course. Mm. Um, you know, one thing I love about Amat Basa Clermont, mm. you can take them anywhere. Man. And they will fit right on in. They don't you know? feel secluded or feel left out. They, they fit into any crowd. They fit right on in. That would obviously be um, play a, a major role in the person that you would be, obviously, being in the entertainment indus uh, industry. Yeah. Because that on its own forces you to be a, pe a people's person. Where I was going to figure out who are grounded into their, into their spiritual per uh, kind of life. Yeah. Because when uh, you are into what would literally be called a different kind of suburban life, when you are able to swim in between all of those things because of the person that you, uh, the place that you came out of. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that, that, that was flying around on social media recently, and, yeah. and it's important, um, it, it speaks of the character of Clermont, was mm -hmm. how in the, in the early 90s or late 80s, yeah. The LGBTQ mm. community at yeah. Lemont yeah. never growing. never felt mm -hmm. uh, a need yeah. to never felt a need to 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 have to explain who they are. Yeah, because that was you. Yeah, and and people of Clermont were like people of Clermont were like, well, hey, we grew That's up with this. Are, yeah. we, we grew up with this. You accept person. person for who they are. You you are accepted at Clermont. Yeah. People will let you. I, I remember growing up with guys who used to do 
plays, yeah. you know, community plays, mm-hmm. East and the stage plays. Mm. And they were popular for doing that. Exactly. There were guys who would put on. They were celebrated in those small circles. Yeah. They were celebrated yeah. for this one band, Lalisama Move. Wow. You know? and, wow. and everybody was given their space. Exactly. You know? There's a girl who's and she's just big as in that stage on her own. As, yeah. as the guy with Dante Spanzola. And, and Clement will prepare you mm-hmm. for. You become a people's person. Exactly. You, you understand people. You 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 know how to react mm-hmm. in every situation. Um, you, you are never a deer mm. in headlights. Yeah. You yeah. don't get caught like that because exactly. you are prepared. Well, that's lovely, man. Yeah. And I know Guti, obviously that would have also played a part in even the family structure because I know Guti, when you're very attached to your family and um, I'm just going to take you to a place that you probably don't want to go. Not so long ago, um, a very dear person to, to any son mm. that uh, you would have lost. I've, I've also gone through that kind of experience yes, as sir. well. I know exactly how it is. Yes, sir. When you went through that, and uh, it, it was at the very point where you were actually climbing that uh, staircase in your, in your um, arts, in what you do as in music. But uh, when you were hit with that stone, how was that, man? It, it defines you yeah. again. It redefines you. It changes your perspective. It changes, you know... The funny thing is, mm-hmm. I did my first big interview, mm-hmm. TV interview, yeah. a week before my mom passed. I remember that. Um, that was in uh, SAPC2. SAPC2. I remember that. Um, <clears throat> the show is called Morning, Morning Live. Morning Live. I remember that. And I had so many great, or what people would perceive as great opportunities that, mm-hmm. were, that were booming, mm. that were coming at me. Yeah. Um, and when my mom passed... Wow, man. It, it changed my direction. It, it, it would it would do it, that. It changed the whole trajectory of, mm-hmm. of even my career, yeah. or even what I wanted out of my career. Mm. Um, I, I didn't want to be famous anymore. You that didn't want to be out there because, that was the first I mean, thing. that was part of stone that you were hit with. Right? Um, and it, it grounded me. Yeah. Um, when, when you start hearing your mom's teachings, Man. your parents' teachings... It, it changes, you know, mm. how, how you see things. Yeah. So people will say, well, Nero was, was really, really happening. And then yeah. he just fled out. But no, they, have no, they have no idea. They have no idea what it is that you're what you know, going through yeah. in a personal area. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and it was good for me because it reminded me of why I was doing what Man. I was doing. Why I do music. Stay true to yourself. In the first place. Yeah. You know, I, I do music because I want to spread the message of love. That's right. Uh, money, if it comes, hey, you know. That's a part of it. Right but, on. But that's not where your focus is. Right on. Yeah. Um, you want to do it for for the art of yeah. it. You know, yeah. music is an art. But I think, um, while you're on that, I think with the current uh, way that music is expressed, it's lost that magic. I, I, I know, Guti, for guys like you and I, about Kamuga back in the 80s, hmm. you still appreciate your Luther Vandross, you still course. appreciate your Chris Walker, you still appreciate your guys like your Kenny Latimo, your Will Downings. Yeah. So, with the current music that has been produced, it's kind of lost that touch, where, where, where when you listen to a song, it takes your mind into another place. It doesn't do that anymore, does it? Let me, let me tell you, let me, let me change your perspective right? for a second. Right. You don't go to a store in the mall and find a Monet. Mm-hmm. No, you don't. Right? <laughs> no, you don't. Right. If exactly. you want to find the best of art, mm-hmm. you have to go out there and look for it. That's right. You understand what exactly. I'm saying? It becomes work. It, it becomes something that you really need to feed. That's right. Feed your, your spirit or mm-hmm. your soul or, or your whole being. If you understand what art is. If you understand because what art don't. is. Because some don't. And... and <laughs> I mean, you and I are into radio. That's right. Right? Mm. Um, the radio that I have in my house, mm-hmm. you're not going <clears> to <throat> find at, at a chain store. No, you don't. A, 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 a it's normal. at a particular store. You have to go and find it. That's right. That's, uh, that's actually what makes it special. Exactly. Right? And, and with the music, <clears> right? <throat> that's what makes it special for me now. Yeah. You know? It's, it's, it's good wine. Exactly. It's, it's good art. It's... You need it's, to appreciate it. It's listening to Gregory Porter. That's right. In in t- two thousand and twenty one. You, you understand what I'm Man, saying? Yeah. And and having everybody else say, what 
is he listening to? Not a good um something else while you're on that note that I've also noticed what might have affected music is the um, fact that it lost that personal touch. You know, when you go to a music shop of right. which of which we don't have a lot of them anymore, actually right. even the ones they're, that we have dying they're dying off, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> so the fact that music has gone digital and you cannot read Oh man, the, the story credits, behind the, the song, credits, yeah. it, it just doesn't feel the same. Yeah, You're a guy that comes from that era where music is something oh. that you can even smell the cover and you oh, appreciate that. I'm saying. You don't have that anymore. I'm saying. Yeah. But, but and, and that's what kind of makes me a dinosaur. That's right. You know, um, I'm not into what's happening now mm -hmm. in the music industry. Yeah. And, and that's why you don't find me, you know, I, there's nothing wrong with mm -hmm. Features or fixtures, yeah, or right. whatever they're called now. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But you don't find me in, in in many of those because I keep to myself exactly. my art. Exactly. I, I'm 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 selfish with my music. And I know what the um, artists that um, have that kind of staying power. First of all, that quality. Mm. You don't get it where a person releases songs every two weeks. <laughs> That just cannot be. Or it, it asks or of you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you see, and you have to have that kind of staying power. You know, it asks of you yeah. to craft it well, and for it to have that, that kind of staying power, all of that quality has to go into the production to the point where it's actually distributed and published and it's available to the, uh, yeah. for the person to enjoy. Let me tell you. Your music has had that. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. one, of, one of the songs that was used on Isbaya yeah. a lot mm -hmm. was a song called How Can You Say? Yeah. And Uman Moba and I wrote that song, mm. started writing that song. It must have been 1997. Get out of here. <laughs> and before Ismail even came to. <laughs> before a lot of things Man. came to. Yeah. And, and, you know, we had the song mm. in our spirit yeah. for a good 20 years. Okay. Before. You, you're crafting the song. Before, before it, we at the moment, you have no idea where it would even end up. You under, right National now, TV, yeah. right now, yeah. I still don't know where it's gonna exactly, end. Exactly, because um, it's still gaining uh, momentum. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not rushing this. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm sipping this like a fine um, wine, one sip at a time. Exactly, you understand? Yeah. Um, yesterday, somebody said, "I'm still waiting on your song," mm -hmm. and we released three years ago. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Um, a guy said to me, um, hey man, you know, we're playing your music, I'm sitting here at home, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm playing your music, I'm sitting with my, my little thing, man. my sweet thing. How special is that and, when a person tells I'm, you because they're actually enjoying your music, and now where you're just, not a, you know, you're not paying any attention to it, now you're telling them, they're not gonna, it must be so, you know, it must be assuring, I'm, I'm assuming, yeah. If, if Donny Hathaway yeah. came today mm. and lived the next five years man you know, god said i'm gonna put donny hathaway back on earth man, for five years man <laughs> he would not need to record a single not, not a single song. song yeah he can live off because five years is actually no time because be, because he's transcended <laughs> through time even from the time that uh, because he's been gone for quite a while now i'm saying today i was actually listening to an lp of his where he was doing it with uh roberta flag roberta flag exactly yes. and i'm like I'm still going to be playing the song in the next 10 years. Exactly. There's no way that you can get rid of you it. Understand. It's quality. There was a lady named Ava Cassidy. I remember her. I do have some albums, yeah. Ava Cassidy recorded, mm -hmm. put it out there, mm -hmm. and unfortunately she, she, she met her demise at a very young age. Yeah. Um, and she hadn't released her music. Mm. She had this whole catalog, when she, but she, it was not she ready for people to hear. Whatever was out there, people were like, eh. Yeah. You know, it's it's Didn't pay right. any attention it's to her. Right. Yeah. When you play Songbird man, today, man. <laughs> you understand? So, with art, mm. it's not about the moment. You don't rush it. It's not about the moment. Yeah. You know, it's about the lifetime. And you've understood this very well because now you, your music has a pace where you can appreciate it over time. Of course. I, I think a lot of people actually end up losing the plot way. They chase the fact of what I've released that one song and pre people really appreciated it and they, they start wearing that stardom of which they, they haven't even earned. Mono Mutu say, Shinchan friends, Shinchan Mutu say, Shinchan attitude. Of course. He's talking a, a different talk. Yeah. And that's where you lose the plot because that's not who you are. Right. And obviously that's going to affect you because now you're going to be like, I have to release another song to keep up and that's where you just lose it because 
the first song took you like you <laughs> that song of yours <laughs> from 1997 yes sir. for the song to be aired and be on rotation in 2015 2016 2017 and yes, till today yeah it's quality man yeah it, yeah it, it's about quality mm -hmm. you know um when when i go in the studio yeah i'm not gonna let you in on a little secret yeah i finished the cd at one go mm. so Get i, out of I there, have man. a full cd wow that I am in no rush yeah. to release. Wow. Um, because, why? But you can reserve <laughs> it and release it when you feel like you want to. Because why? Mm. Um, the only reason I released mm. when I did, mm -hmm. I, 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 I'll be honest with you, yeah. I stopped even recording, I stopped when my mom passed. Yeah. I stopped everything. I Man, said, that, that, know, that was a terrible hurdle for you because it, it sort of spun a lot of things around for you. I said, I'm Even not your perspective of how, yeah. 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 Um, but, but somebody said something very profound to me, Usimon Zama. He said, there's a reason that your mom's spirit felt it was okay to leave you. At that point in time. At this point in Man. time. Man. Because you're ready. Yeah. You understand? No. He said, Bro. because you're ready. She would not have left if, if her spirit felt that you were not ready. And isn't it, isn't it more assuring, Uwaz, Loh, Uguti? You were not just left alone, but her spirit felt. Oh, it's. In Ghana, I'm saying could say and Jengo, but it's sitting that we give on a man. He is ready to soar and do everything that he wants to do. You haven't lost that life. Christians, right? believers say, "Blessed assurance." Man, that's what it is. Nothing is lacking here. <laughs> Blessed assurance. <laughs> exactly. You know? Yeah. So yeah, um, it it, I released those that EP mm -hmm. with with that in mind, mm -hmm. saying I want to release it in honor of. Yeah my mom mm -hmm. um, and the work that we've done. But mm -hmm. when I did release it, I already had a full CD. Wow. I still have a full CD. I'm, I'm, I'm not ready. Yeah. You know, but I'm not rushing anything. That's the thing though. I'm actually thinking, Woody, you might be sitting on a pot of gold. It's just that if we can enjoy the two, three songs out of an EP that you've released <laughs> and it made so much noise, What's gonna happen when that when that album really drops? I'm, well, I'm just I'm I'm scared. At the same time, it's exciting. Gold doesn't lose value. It never does, right? <laughs> you understand? Same as a diamond. Gold <laughs> doesn't lose value. Yeah. So, if it's a part of gold and, mm -hmm. and it's meant to be out there, yeah. I'm glad I used Ava Cassidy. I'm yeah, not, man. God forbid. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying something like that. But the quality and standard. But. If, even if I'm long gone, mm. my, my children should be able to... Make a reference point, man. You understand? That is dad right there. That's my father singing. You and I know, Wuti, because we, we, as you said, you're the spiritual person, so you would understand this. A seed doesn't really go and uh, die off. Yeah. It's planted, and once it sprouts, it gives birth to another seed, and so on that thing right. goes. Your son, at a certain point, your daughter at a certain point, is probably going to be a singer. Probably going to do ten times better than dad. And <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, and sir. it's gonna look, and she's gonna look back at your videos and look back at even this podcast and be like, you know, I'm not surprised that I'm here right now because right. my dad really laid a good plan, a foundation for me. Right. Yeah, well, I mean that guy sings. I'm surprised my kids sing, man. This girl sings. Yeah, your she wife sings. sings. <laughs> Everybody sings. Exactly. You understand, man. Um, and and you know, with with the kids, mm. it's funny because I think it's it's similar to when I was growing up. Yeah, man. You know, they, 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 they're afraid to sing when I'm around. That's right. You got to catch them at the right time. Yeah. And when you catch them at the right time, yeah, it's cool. I'm sure what's it, those are the times where they don't know it's a good you're looking. Of course. When they're doing the cleaning in the bedroom. You got to catch them. And you just, crawl, you know, you creep and open the, the door slightly and, okay, there's <laughs> you the boy. You got to catch them You ask the them right to sing time. like that, when you're watching them, they'll never give you the same thing. No, they're thing. not. They're, they're like, not. no, then I can't sing. I know, I know. They're I deal with that at home. So, it's 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 a blessing. Yeah, man, it is a blessing. You you're a married man. You're you 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 you're in love with your wife at the same time. Not just married, because a lot of people are married, but they're not in love. You are in, you're a married man who's in love. You are very biased. <laughs> this is what this is. No, I'm talking facts though. You you're a married man who's in love, and 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 that's that's magic because I know Guti, um that's how you actually make it work. Where you find a person yeah. who are, who you're gonna be in sync with. Who's gonna understand the person that you are? Because once there's a that kind of understanding, you can go through any hurdle, any point that might be, you know, that might be a challenge in your life and in your relationship. You and your wife, how's uh, how's how's family? How's things there? Look, one of the major commandments that not that's not even in the Ten Commandments Man. is 
you know, there's there's this and there's that and there's that, but above all this, mm -hmm. love. Yeah. Um, that's that's the key. You, you know, um, you mustered that a long time ago because you've always been preaching the same story. That's the key. Yeah, it's it's love, and I was fortunate to have my parents who who loved each other for so many years, and I saw it. You yeah. know, my parents would kiss. Yeah, man. Every day, um, which might be taboo in some uh, in some, in some marriages today. Like it is. Yeah, my, it's, my, it's unusual. My mom and dad would kiss mm -hmm. and go out and get in the same car. Yeah, man. <laughs> you yes, you right. So it was exciting. You saw this. You, 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 There's you, nobody you that you could have saying? done it They live in the same vehicle. That's right. But they kiss before they leave the house mm. to go and get in the in same the car. car. They'll probably kiss when they, when they exit the car as well to go into the shop. You understand? That's beautiful love, man. So, so I grew up around that. Yeah. And I said, what? Well, that's what I want. And the music? Where's the music coming from? Who's, uh, who's uh, this music person? that gave you this gift? God is funny because he gave me my exact family. Man. Um, he, what you see in this family that right. I have right. is what I come from. It's a mirror of what happened. <laughs> is what it I, always works out like it's that. It's what I come from. Yeah. My, my it always mom used out to like sing, that. my dad used to sing, he still sings. Yeah. Oh man, you, you, you give my dad anything. You Get say, out of here. You say, can you, can you just say hi to people? He's going to say, you know? Without even can, trying, can you without even trying to put an effort in it. Be, yeah. You know, he's 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 a natural like he's that. He's a cooner. You know? I love that. <laughs> there on the lines of uh, Ned King Collins, uh, of course, of course. So yeah. so you know, I grew up around that. I I always tell the story. Mm. We prayed. That's right. We prayed every day. You know, and when you pray, mm -hmm. before you pray, mm -hmm. you gotta sing. Exactly. So we would kneel around my mom's bed. Yeah. And then we would sing mm. before we. would there was no way that you could escape the burger. Huh? Every day. Get out of here, no. <laughs> Every day. It, it was actually one of those things that brought the family closer. Every day. Out of the it yeah. was practiced. Mm. We practiced for the prayer. So well, you could you could escape singing. No, you, there's you, no way that you, you could. You can't. Have. You practice mm -hmm. for prayer and then you go to prayer. Man. So we would sit before prayer mm. and work out songs mm -hmm. and, and, and learn the songs and get yeah. the parts right yeah. and get the melodies right. Mm -hmm. And then we'd go into prayer. Beautiful stuff, right? And then we'd sing the song. So you go into prayer already. <laughs> oh, I'm saying. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. You spent some time, because I know, Wuti, you were here. Mm. Um, you're born from here. Jabushu Wuti, you come from Clement. That's your home. That's your base. Yeah. You spent some, uh, some time in uh, the US, though. Yeah. Okay. In the States. Yeah. How was that experience? And uh, why did you never go that side? What was that about? Somebody thought I was smart. Mm. Oh no, you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> somebody thought I was smart. I didn't yeah. know what they were thinking. Yeah. But somebody thought I was No, they probably saw something right though. Worthy of, of a scholarship. Yeah. You know, I got a scholarship. Mm -hmm. A full ride is mm -hmm. what Americans would say. I got That's full, right. I got a full ride. The to, old enchilada. To quite a prestigious institution in the United States. Get out of here. Which is known for its arts. Mm -hmm. Specifically its its music. Yeah. Um, Gustavus Adolphus College which is in, in Minnesota mm -hmm. and I spent five years there Man. Um, came out with you know I was doing um, theater mm -hmm. and communication that's right um, did a little bit of music but you know music when when you when you're in music man you and you when you're in music and you're in love with music yeah yeah, yeah. so it's you, a different story you gotta do some music as well so that's I right. did that as well mm -hmm. at, at Gustavus yeah um, but yeah, that's that's how I got to Gustavus. I got a scholarship, man, and I spent five years of my life mm. in, in the U.S. And it was, it was. Look, when you count your blessings, ha. that that's that's it right, says right there. That's the right up there. Of the course, top. it has to be because now what's really exciting, and I've I've seen this play out in life. Sometimes we see ourselves. Sometimes we find ourselves in situations where we have no idea where we got or how right, we got there. Right. Where not having come from a family that was musical, that uh, had a lot of music, a lot of singers, you could have turned out to be a mechanic. Okay. You, you became a singer. And in that, you didn't just become any old guy that sings and wants to be famous. No, you did music the right way. Yes, sir. While you did that, a scholarship fell on your lap right. at the perfect time and took you to a place where you would get polished properly. But now, they're not just polishing something that doesn't exist. They're polishing something that is already there. Right. <laughs> All right. right. So, your Uncle Jaco was already in life. Hey, man. Man. It's God. It is God. It is God. So, um, Uneo, what is he doing now in music? I know, Wuti, you did say, Wuti, there's an album that is 
that you're hibernating for I have no idea what reason you you get you get really afraid to say these things yeah out in the universe because man the universe is a funny it has, way of it responds in its own way yeah, yeah. And, and then there's people in the universe who <laughs> are ready to hear what you're planning yeah man and they take it away of course but um, we are working on first we are working on a show yeah man right we we want to do a show mm. which is going to be an homage man to Luther those Donny are your Hathaway. guys those are your guys Luther Donny Hathaway yeah um, yeah it's Luther and Donny Hathaway mm. and Sam Cook of and course Sam Cook so we're gonna I know go... that's your line because <laughs> even I know when uh, when I had you in my wedding because you did sing in my wedding you were MC yeah, actually yeah, yeah. you you pulled another one there it was a beautiful <laughs> one man so you you've always yeah belonging in that old school and that's the kind of sound that you also present so what what i want to do is i want to do a show a traveling show mm. where i pay homage to to those guys that's right you know um so we, we're trying to make sure that it's it's done the right way that's correct you know i want that's to the have, that's the that's the new effect i want to have <laughs> yes sir of course i want to have do it the right a, way. a full ensemble that mm. that that feels music the way i feel exactly you know if, if we're gonna do sam cook yeah you don't want to go into a crowd of people who listen to my piano they have no if, idea what if, you're doing if we're gonna do sam cook yeah man, you know if, you if need I, the cream of the crop if i say you the send people with me, the right ear if i say you send me man and you know it's the wrong crowd people are gonna be like eh, what are you doing it's 2021 and what's really sad <laughs> is that the same people who are gonna be against that quality music that mm. kind of standard in 10 20 years time right. they go and look for those files like hey boo there's a rita franklin yeah, yeah that's johnny hathaway yeah they want to go back because yeah. that's the quality that's why it has that staying I mean, power there's, even there's, your music man there's two aretha franklin movies mm -hmm. this year alone. yeah right? yeah we're waiting on one in the next couple of weeks you serious i mean with jennifer that. hudson is it and there was another one uh, that came out on, on netflix i believe i think i, th I think no, i, no, I, think I saw the, was... the short showings of that yeah mm. so so you know these people live they don't die they they live the truth doesn't die anyway. and i'm talking about doing a show for luther for mm. donny hathaway for mm. sam cook because they live you said it's going to be a traveling show yeah, I want you, to you're going to be you're going to be show. having multiple stops yeah yeah i want to make it a traveling show mm -hmm. um and i want to do it right i'm also talking to um my friend and my manager malusi yes. yes about maybe releasing i don't know you know uh you, you, I, you seem reluctant I, I'm, I'm 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 almost there yeah um but there's something that has to come first yes and the other thing is going out yes, yeah. yes 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 yeah. um so I've, I've got a guy in who's who's doing big things in the yeah, us man. right now vazen mm -hmm. who is working on one of my songs mm -hmm. um end of the world yeah that's man. the name of the song get out of here no i mean if, if the, the name, name of the song the name is exciting <laughs> it sounds like the song sounds beautiful it's, anyway it's, yeah. it's the end of the it's world it's already there and you know we finished it and then i sent it to him and he said hey let me do a couple of things mm -hmm. as well polishing so, it again. yeah mm -hmm. um so he wants to add his touch to it mm. maybe we'll wait on that yeah and then we'll release i'll, I'll have to hear what the song sounds like it's exciting first. man i'm actually looking and, forward and uh, then looking forward to it yeah and then this is here yeah. It's gonna be. Really I'm not gonna give you something that I'm not going to enjoy. No, no, it's quality. I know. Jamagishukuti. Even the songs that you've released, you've never fallen short of giving us what we really need I and what we expect it. from you. Because the standard that you've uh, presented, even when you came out, it was never something that you would say. I when I get the ways, I made it. You yes, came sir. big, and you said I'm gonna do it right, and you've been doing it perfectly all the time. Yes, sir. So we're really expecting that uh, you're gonna give us a. Actually, I'm actually very sure that you're gonna <laughs> give us a beautiful song. And uh, that show, I'm really looking forward to have that uh, traveling show. I'm probably going to be a part of it somehow. I want to travel with you as an person. Yeah, you know? uh, what, what the people don't know, you, what the yeah. people don't know yeah. is Usandile is a multi, ah! multi-talented musician who, yeah, is, who is a brother-in-law of mine. Yo. Is, <laughs> you know, Usandile sings, he plays, he plays guitar, he oh, plays piano. Man. He listens to jazz. Man, you're killing me. This is this is I always tell people I'm a Renaissance man, I'm not. Man. This is a Renaissance but man. But how crazy is it that uh, we've always known what to be sing. Yeah. You sing, I sing. 
I don't, I don't, I don't want to say I sing anymore because I have no idea what happened. I, yeah, but whatever it is that you you went through that mm. that sort of threw you off, may not. I still need to pinpoint exactly what happened. But I've had that same experience where I was like, I really love how I sing. I really love the fact that I sing. It's freedom. That's yeah. me and my wings open right there. But yeah. there came a point. I have no idea where and how. Where I was like, you know, um, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna, I, I, I don't feel like I wanna do this anymore. And then I, I sort of. It's forgot art. about it. No, it's art. It does that. It's eh? art. It, art will, it's it will hit you mm-hmm. when it hits you. And when it wants to come back, you it see. Does. You see, it's like when you say you didn't want to sing anymore. Yeah, man. The same thing will happen when you need to sing. I, I feel that age. Yeah. When when you see when you sing. Yeah. You don't want to sing. You need. And there's nothing you, you can do about it. You hey, no, but you have no idea how much I ran. <laughs> you can't do The recordings that we had, it's been amazing, man. That whole yeah. experience that I had was crazy amazing, and I loved it at the time. But that breaking point, that coma, then mm. I understand what to call the team, mm. made me feel like I don't even want to hear my music. You know when a person would be like, hey, I'm so I was listening to that song you did with Peter Sweet, and man, that song is banging. I was like, please play that song but don't, la, don't, la. don't bring it Legu, next. i don't want to hear it yeah i have no idea what what that means but yeah you understand that at least i i'm i told you about writing yeah. a song for 20 years yeah you it, know it will take that long a five minute song man for 20 years yeah because inspiration mm-hmm. music is inspiration can't rob it inspiration is is something that you don't go and get you don't, you don't even ask for it. It you comes know, to you. It you, hits you. you. You don't sit and be like, hmm, I'm, I'm inspired. inspiration now. I'm going to go out and get inspiration. It doesn't work like that. Not really. Yeah, no. yeah. I mean, That's in the real world. You, you hear people talking about their muse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it's got nothing to do with the muse. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's that muse yeah. being there at the right time. And when it hits you. For your inspiration. Yeah. When your inspiration hits you, mm-hmm. You don't stand a chance. Yeah. It's it that is in control you at the point. You don't stand a chance. Yeah. Like I'm saying, when, when you have to sing, you will sing. I'll see that day when it comes. At the moment, you my music, sing. jeepers. I can't, I can't, I can't. I mean, this, this guy plays forward, piano. Man. This guy is, <laughs> he plays guitar. I would kill. Dude. <laughs> you gotta sit right here. We need to sit yeah, Hey space. man, we gotta do it. Yeah. We gotta do it. But I'll tell you now, it's been a really exciting one, and I'm I'm actually excited the fact that you were able to welcome us in your house. Yes, I know we're we'll gonna be doing a lot of this moving forward, especially with that show that uh, you guys are putting together with Dumelo Lucy. I'm mm-hmm. definitely gonna be a part of it because Unfair said is all about that. We wanna document stories, and uh, well, that's a story that we need to cover. The only way I'm letting you on that show mm-hmm. is if if you play something. Ah! Oh, that's a bribe, if man. You play something. It's not a bribe. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's you're killing me there. Tit for tat. Let's see. Yeah, that it's was, uh, tit for tat. You know, but in any event, I really want to say that uh, it's been an exciting one. It's episode ten there uh, today, so uh, let's see how it works out. I know it's really exciting, and the fact that we were able to cover so much, it's um, it's really special and dear to us. So we really appreciate as unfiltered the fact that you opened up and uh, gave us a little preview into your world, man. And the fact that there's an album coming, I really cannot wait for that. <laughs> Neo Morocco in, uh, <laughs> in our show today. And uh, Baba, thank you so much again. Anything that uh, you would like to say to your fans and maybe how they can still get through to you? Maybe so that they can get uh, a chance to look out for that music that is coming? Yeah, I'm, I'm not done. Um, that's the first thing. Second mm. thing is we're going to be releasing the EP again. Yeah. We're going to be digitally remaster it right. and we're going to release it again mm. on digital platforms yeah what i noticed is my audience or my fans or people that follow they my love music you. they love me they that's, love that's you that's the first thing it's that, that chest of yours <laughs> uh, it looks like everyone can land on it i'm glad that my sister landed on it that's how i got your sister that's right <laughs> the second thing is yeah. um they love CDs. That's right. Which is what we were talking about. I, I, I can't stand it when you have to press <laughs> buttons to listen to a so song. So yeah. I got I to gotta do printing again. Man. Um, we're going to print, um, have it out there. Mm-hmm. We're going to find the Injala Zoguti. Redistribute, say, yeah. Or Afiget Bantu. Especially now with the, with the shops having closed. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes. We're going to find ways to, to get it to We want people. those hard copies, man. Um, I'm, I'm excited yeah. um, because lately... Mm-hmm. A lot of people have been saying we want your music. Yeah, I'm saying well, new. They say no, no, no. Not, we need not new your music. music. There's nothing. We out just there. want yeah. your music. There's nothing. There's nothing out there. Give us your music. Yeah. and I'm, I'm. We're working on that. Mm-hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna put it out there. Yeah, I'm still on, on um, Facebook. Yeah, 
in the Rato Neo Effect. Yeah. I'm still on Facebook, Neo Morocco. That's the page. my artist page. Yeah. Um, I am on Instagram. Follow me. I'm, I'm not good at these things. I know. You, 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 I'm you, not good. <laughs> you know what? what You're I'm, just a matured guy who, who, who <laughs> sees it when he sees it, but is really not a guy that's going to be like, I'm what posting I tell, every day. What I would tell you know my, about that. my fans yeah. or people that follow my music is, yeah. Find time to be with me. Exactly. You know, tell me where you're you, here still. Tell me, yeah. Tell me where you want me to be. I'll be there. Exactly. Um, I will come. I will sing for you. I'm Bro, st I'm still that child. You Obatua. sing. Oh, what to? Never was that a tune. And I'll you sing like, that. Yeah. <laughs> you you've actually done that. You 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 are very random because I know what even in uh, your MCing gigs. Yeah. In uh, gigs where you have your corporates, I know you were part of that. Um, that forum that came for other musicians where mm. they were supposed to iron out a few issues that uh, the people were having with uh, distributing their music. Right. You were part of that. Right. You just sing at a drop of a pin. You don't. You don't wait for nothing. It is me, man. It, that's Nero. It is me. Yeah, man. I don't. I don't do it. It does. It does you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't no, um, it thank me. you so much. I'm not gonna put you on the spot and make you sing I a line. Appreciate I'm not that. gonna do that, but I really appreciate the fact but that. What, uh, what we will yeah. do is, like I said, we're gonna do Sam Cook. Yeah, man. Darling, you send me. Yeah. We're gonna do um, Donny Hathaway. Mm. I've been to many places in my life. Yeah, man. Okay, yeah. Do, That's my guy, we're man. Do Why do you even stop when you're doing it, man? Um, I wanna tell you, baby. You're doing, you're doing, you're doing the three voices on one go. Yeah, you see, so we're not jealous, fam. <laughs> <laughs> we don't this do guy's terrible, man. I can't so believe you. When we say the show is out, yeah, come out and see it, bro. It's gonna be enjoyable. It's gonna be, it's gonna be life. It's gonna be beautiful. And yeah. uh, that is uh, another one, episode ten with Uneo Moroga. He's uh, really, really given us everything that we need to know. And of course, he's got that album that is going to be dropping in time. That's uh, not so long from now. Mm. And uh, he's going to be doing a reprint of that EP. So we really have to look out for that. I know Uguti, with EPs, it's easier to actually get our yeah, hands them, yeah. on them. And the nice thing is that we're not going to do it the old way, where we just go digital. That's kind of old. We want the really, really old way <laughs> where we have the hard copy. So now yes, we will be waiting for those hard copies and we're going to make sure that we get it out there. So episode 10, you'll get it on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe and uh, you'll see more of uh, the interviews that we bring you uh, on this show. Unfortunately, we lost So thank you so much, Mr. Morocco. Thank you so much to your family for allowing us to come and bring the cameras and all the stuff that we brought here. It's really, it's really been a pleasure. I'm right. filtered with Oscar. Awesome, so my man. Thanks, yes, Thank Super. you. Fair. Right on. Thanks, Dave.